Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am just going to be doing a little simple look. Today I'm going to be using the Deck of Scarlet edition number 16 palette. Here is the art on the front. As you guys have probably seen on my channel before, I have featured a few of the palettes um, from Deck of Scarlet on my channel. Um, but in case you haven't seen them, they open, there's like two, you know, parts that open. Here are all the powders. Um, typically there is a highlighter, a uh, blush, and then there are three eyeshadows. And then on this side right here, there are two cream lipsticks. Um, this one happens to be metallic, which I think is like one of the, f I don't know if they've had metallic lipsticks before, but I think that one looks pretty cool. Um, and then a nice red. So I will be featuring this palette in today's video. Probably also gonna throw in some other Deca Scarlet goodies like um, lashes. I've been wanting to try these. These are so pretty. So I'm going to, you know, throw those on as well and maybe a couple other things. In that case, let's go ahead and just get started. So today for foundation, I'm going to try out something new. Um, this is a new brand that had sent um, some foundations and a couple of other things to me. This is called Uama. Uama? Uama? It's U-O-M-A. Um, this is the Say What? Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And it says it has adjustable coverage, medium coverage, um, full coverage, or extreme coverage. Okay. Okay. So you can definitely blur this is what it's saying. I'm going to try out shade Fair Lady T2C. Very, very liquidy. So usually when things are more liquidy, it means the formula is thin and it's probably going to look a little bit thinner on your face. It's probably going to look not like so cakey, not so thick, which I enjoy thinner foundations actually. I forgot to shave. Shit. <laughs> Hopefully it oxidizes a little bit. I got sent three shades, actually two shades, so it's not bad. Not a bad match. I do like the coverage that it's giving um, in the finish of it. it. Looks great on camera. It also looks good in, so far it's okay. So far it's doing good. I'm like, this is really close to my skin tone. I usually like to go a little bit darker than my skin tone, um, but you know what? This is a pretty good shade. They also sent over some concealers. There's two shades of concealers. Um, it's called Woke, and it looks like one of those like alarm clocks, like back in the Dizay. Stay Woke Concealer. I mean, I kind of like that name. Um, I'm going to try shade T2. I'm hoping this is light enough to give me some brightness. Oh, that's a big, big applicator. I like that. Okay, it's a little bit lighter. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize a lot. They get pretty good with the shade matching. Sometimes brands will reach out or they'll like let us know that like they already like matched us. Um, and I'm just like, okay, cool. But I really don't know how you did that. I don't know what that means, but they matched me. Like they did their research. Ooh, okay, I like this concealer. Okay, this reminds me a little bit of the Jouer concealer. Okay, so I really enjoy this foundation and concealer combo. Obviously, as you guys can see, my skin looks pretty flawless. In that case, we're gonna move on to Quantua. All right, so for contour, I'm going to use the Morphe Dimension Effect Contour Stick. Um, and if you guys want to use code WES um, at checkout for Morphe, you guys can save money. I'm going to use shade number 14. I think it's a good shade when I'm a little bit more on the lighter side. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. So I'm going to use my brush to apply it so that it's not like super intense and doesn't leave harsh lines on my face. And this is also going to warm up my face. The creams are done for the face, so I'm gonna go ahead and move into powders. To set my face, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. So this powder, I don't know if you can see it, but you have to like grind it. Um, like when you use it, you have to like turn this thing. I can't really show you, everything's gonna fall out. <laughs> but if you gr if you turn this, it grinds the powders, deposits fresh powder for you, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't used this powder before, so we're gonna go ahead and test it out. Hopefully it's not like too dark or anything on me. Okay, so that just darkened my under eye, which I 
don't care for that. But I have to do it to the other side because I have to even it out very lightly. <laughs> but I'm going to change to a different powder. So I don't like to use colored powders under my eye because it does darken it and kind of takes away that brightness. I always like to use a translucent powder on my face. Um, and then if I want to use a colored powder, I'll do it everywhere except my under eye. So I'm just, I'm just going to take some of Patrick's powder from MAC, which is translucent. And I'm going to pack that on top of everything. All right, so face is set. Here is, I guess, the base. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. For that, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with my favorite bronzer. Hula bronzer, you know, I'm sure all y'all know what this bronzer is. By Benefit, so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just hit the perimeter of my face and the cheekbones. When I cream contour, I only like to put a little bit of powder bronzer on. Um, I mostly do that just because when I set my face, I feel like it kind of takes away a little bit of the cream contour. I like to go ahead and add a little bit, of, a little bit of that warmthness and depth back in to my face. And I'll just hit like the tip of my nose and the edges very quickly. Like I said, I'm not really like, contouring or shaping. I'm just adding a little bit of color. All right, so I think it's time for blush. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade from the Deca Scarlet palette. Um, this is called Plush. It's a little bit of a cool toned blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on. All right, blush is done. I am going to go ahead and go into highlighter. I'm going to try a new highlighter today. I've never used this brand or this, obviously, this palette, um, but this is the I'm Glowing Highlighting Palette by Palladio. I wanna say that's how you say it. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this shade and this shade together. They look really, really nice in the pan. All right, I see you. All right, well, that definitely did the job. That's definitely very, very pretty. Let's see, and there's no cast. Maybe slightly a cast. You can see right here, there's a little bit of like a dark spot. So when that happens, you gotta be careful not to apply too much product. All right, so the highlighter is on. I do like it. So on this side, I didn't use that darker shade, which I think was leaving the cast on me on this side, which honestly you can't really even see unless you like look for it. But other than that, like, damn, this is like really pretty. So the face is pretty much completed. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back to jump into the eyes. All right guys, so it's time to jump into the Deck of Scarlet palette. Um, for eyes, I am going to, I don't know. So this palette has a pretty simple color palette. Honestly, it's gonna be a pretty simple look which is what I'm going for. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and take the shade Plush, which is the blush bronzy shade. I'm gonna go ahead and fluff that into my crease just with a blending brush. So what's cool about these palettes is that these highlighter shades and these blush shades, you can obviously use as eyeshadows. Um, I do that often with these palettes. So it kind of like shows you that it's pretty universal. You can kind of do whatever you want with these palettes. Honestly, I've thought about using the lipstick shades um, as like eyeshadow bases, which you could probably totally pull off. So I'm just going to run that into my crease, just kind of build up that color. I'm also going to take that blush shade and pack it on the outer part and the inner part of my eyelid. We're gonna create a soft little halo. So as you can see, the center of my eyelid still has a nice bright pop to it, which is the concept of a halo. I'm gonna take the shade Haven and with my finger, I'm just going to pop it right on the center of the eyelid. And just slightly blend the edges with the finger once it's, app once it's applied. So to give it a little bit more intensity in the center, because I really want it to pop, I took a brush, a packing brush, and then a little bit of a spray a setting spray. Load up the brush, spray the brush, and then pack it on. And then it just gives it more of like a foiled metallic look. Almost like it's wet and that sparkle really just pops. So for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the color. I'm gonna go ahead and use what I use in the crease and just run that along the lower lash line. I'm just going to meet that up with the crease color. So as far as the eye, I just wanna amp it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Dose of Color um, Set the Tone Cream Matte Eye Color. 
This is called Hit the Road, and here is what it looks like. So I'm just going to use this to create a nice wing. So this glitter liner also came with this palette, so I'm going to try and implement it into this look. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put a line underneath my liner right here with this glitter liner. And then I think I'm also going to tap a little bit of this into the inner corner. So now when I turn, boom, you just see a little bit of that hitting the light and it's shining through. Okay, that's cool. I like that, it's pretty subtle. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this as well and just kind of like fluff it into my inner corner to give some glitter. Ooh, look at that, hitting the light. Dang, that's pretty. All right, so here is the eye without the lashes, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on these lashes from Deck of Scarlet. These are vegan as well, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so I didn't know this, but it comes with glue. There's like a little, a little thing of glue in here. That's so cute. I love that they have that in there. By the way, this liner is the Go Glitter Liquid Liner. And then I am using shade Violet Aura. All right, so the eyes are completed. Here are what they look like. I think it's a very flattering eye look, not too much. I think the liner definitely helps it pop. So now I'm going to use this lip, Cozy Vibes, for the lip. This is red and it has a metallic finish to it actually, which I did not see earlier. But I'll be going in with that shade and applying that to my lip. The glitters in this are like a nice gold, so it's like a red base with gold little shimmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with a brush. All right, so here is the lip on. It looks a little bit more orangey, a little bit more warm on the lips than it does in the pan. But I think the formula of this lip feels so, so, so comfortable. It's very, very creamy, very light, very thin. Yeah, it feels like I have nothing on my lips. It almost feels like I have like a lip balm on my lips and I just, I really like that because that's just very, very comfortable. It's great for like during the day because you know, when you have a long day, you just want to have a comfortable lip. If you guys want to get your hands on this palette, go ahead and click the link down below. I will have a link for you guys to go directly to the website. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Deuces.